Hello and welcome back to Willie Farms. I'm Donna Cavender and we are here at the back of the market here by the airplane. We've got a fire truck over there too. So there's some place for the kids to play and have fun. We've got it all for you here at Willie Farms. We're on Route 13, Townsend. We're just south of Odessa, just north of Smyrna. And even if you're traveling on Route 1, very easy to find off and on exits in either Odessa or Smyrna. 60,000 square feet of awesomeness right here at Willie Farms. We've got a great show for you. We're gonna get some more information for you. We've got a cooking segment, so we hope you'll stick around for that. Now, of course, you can check us out online. We've got our website, which is williefarms.com. We're on all the social media. We've got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and you can check us out on our YouTube channel, this television show and others right there anytime you'd like to see it. So check that out on social media. And right now, we're gonna check out some succulents in the greenhouse with Kathy. This is one of the back greenhouses and it's called, we call it the fountain house. Yeah. It has fountains and statues in it and today Kathy is here and she's going to tell me all about succulents. So we also have some succulents here and we decided to do this because some people I mean, they may not have a black thumb, right? but they don't have a green thumb, and, but they still want to have a garden or mm -hmm. something living and these succulents don't take quite as much effort right, as some right. of the other flowers and plants do. And some people travel a lot to go to the beach a lot in the summertime, oh, so yeah. they're not home to water their to plants, water the plants. They have the dry areas, so they're perfect to do a nice uh, succulent garden. Okay, so succulents, in general, you water them maybe once a week? Yeah, once, maybe once a week. Uh, with the rain we've had, of course, you know, that'd be right. a different story. Sure. But on a sunny week, yeah, just once a week, you want to keep the soil pretty mm -hmm. much dry. Okay. So it's safe to go away for three or four days. Right. And not worry about that bed that you okay. have out there of succulents. Awesome. And, and if they're if they're inside, mm -hmm. uh, that you can still go away for two or three weeks. Oh, yeah, be, yeah, definitely. You can go two weeks. It just depends on, you know, you know what kind of succulents you have. And okay. You definitely go two weeks. And, and we talk about succulents. And there's so many varieties. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at some of the varieties that we have here at Willie Farms. So there's succulents for in the house. Okay. And there's succulents that you can plant out in your garden bed that are going to come back every year. All so, right. And they're both benefits. So here we have some of the uh, different succulent bowls that you might keep in the house. Uh, you can keep on your deck in the summertime, but you bring okay. them back in in the wintertime. Now, are they good for uh, cleaning the air like a lot of plants are if you have a live they plant are in, inside? All, mm -hmm. It's good for your for the air? All plants are. Okay. Um, the aloe is probably your most beneficial okay. with the um, cleaning air. And we'll air. see that in a little yep. bit. We're going to whip right around the corner okay. on that one. All right. So then we have a couple that maybe you might want to put in your flower bed, um, ice plant. That's pretty That's showy. Me. Yeah. yeah. You, sometimes you get flowers. Um, yeah, because yeah. not a lot of succulents have flowers right, right, a yeah. lot of time. Okay. Now, they're not going to open up on a cloudy day, but nobody's out there to see it on a cloudy day. Oh. And they're going to come back every year. Okay. Um, these are what we call jeepers creepers. They stay like below. Usually like, they're, like ground cover? Yeah, they're below an eight inch height and okay. they're different ground covers. Some of them you All can right. step on, some of them you can't. And there's a variety of textures, colors um, that you can mix together. These all come back. Oh, right. Yeah, oh, they, they, all, are, they do they, come back. Yeah, they all come back. And there's so many different things that you can do. Um, we, we showed you the bowls. Okay. Um, we have a little wheelbarrow over here. You can plant oh, something that's like cute. that up. That's cute. Uh, broken pot. Now, that's a different color on that one that with the brown. Uh -huh. This is a calancho. Now, most people think of the calanchos as the red flowering that yes. we get on the Easter for the house. Plant. Right. This is a different form of calancho. But oh. isn't that pretty, that rust on there? Yeah, that's yeah. really some. Oh, it, it's like velvety. Uh-huh. How about yeah, it's that? it's very soft. To it. Now, did you do that? That's very pretty. We did do this. This was a broken pot that we had. And so we have some of the string of pearls, uh, hens and chicks. They'll come back. Some of it won't. So this is more of an indoor. I have hens and um, chickens at my house. Mm -hmm. I do have those. Yeah, they used to put them in an old tire or something like that. <laughs> yeah. And the aloe right there next to you? Aloe. We have aloe, which is great for the skin. We have a lot of people right. that um, want it for their for their facial skin. Yes. And yeah. I have one at my sink. And mm -hmm. if I get a little uh, burn, burn. Yep. you yep. get that. And that's really beneficial. Yeah. So this is for... Gretchen's making me do this. <laughs> this is artificial, but if you have an office with no light, the heat's bad or whatever, they look real. They look real. So, and we have an assortment of these, the different ones. So they're really cute. They I don't are. usually do the artificial, but they look real. So th that's a good one. Okay. So, what else do we have um, here? 
Oh, we have a little cup. Just okay, just and you can put a little. Yeah, take that oh. little hen and chick. Uh, there's all we have hundreds of different ones to choose right. from. But there you voila. Very nice, and that would look good on an office right, desk. Right, right, and it's a perfect gift. Sure. Yeah. Nice yeah. little okay. inexpensive gift. All right. Oh, and the someone. wagon. You did something really fun with the wagon here. Well, this is one of our old wagons. Uh, we got new wagons at Woolly Farms this year. If you okay. Notice. Good. So I took one of the old ones and I have a little frog here. Um, little cup. I'd say 90% of this is going to come back. Nice. This, this, yeah, this one will not, um, but most of the rest of it's all going to come back. I have a little watering can here that I poked some holes in and stuck some oh, hens how about and chicks that? in there. They come out. Yeah, a little coffee cup. So all th right. there's just a whole variety. All right, and then something like this um, is a pan of succulents that we sell. There's five or six different varieties in here. Oh. These all come back. Perfect nice. in a rock garden. A lot of people come in, they have a sunny mailbox and nothing to plant. That they, they don't want to go out there and water it. So right. just plant this around the bottom. Oh. Nice little flag. And, and you've got yourself a whole nice. setup. Yeah. Now these all look like hen and chickens. Is that what these are here? They are. So these look are look all the hens and chicks. Okay. Red Reuben. I mean, I, you know, mine are green. I'm going to have to get some yeah. of the red because that's and so pretty. And I love the little bit of the green that's in there, but it's going to stay. Yeah. And as the color, the weather changes, cold, warm, the uh, colors intensify. Oh, that's so, neat. Uh, one of my favorites has always been the cobweb because it gets this little cobweb in the center. <gasps> so that's another How one. About that? Yeah, that's another we one need that's to a, take a, a little We unusual. need to take a really close look at this. That is really cute. Isn't it? How yeah. about that? So this one, I mean, they're all different. You can um, plant them by themselves. You can do a okay. mix. Okay, all right, I have a question. Here's another question. Is a cactus a succulent, or are they two different things? They're two different things. Oh, the they two, are? Usually okay. they're more prickly, and if you notice these, um, they hold water in them. Yeah. Okay. So they can hold a little bit. So yeah. a cactus is not a succulent? No. Mm -mm. A cactus is a cactus. A cactus, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they're going to be more thornier. Right. Hairier sure. and yeah. all that. This is one of my favorites. It has the red tip on it. With that, that is pretty. Yeah. So And they multiply. So when you buy a hen and chick, you're getting your money's worth. Oh, I know. Because yeah. I have a, a large terracotta uh, pot that mm -hmm. I put my hens and chickens in. And it Would started it out with... Like this? Sort of. Like uh -huh. that. Yes. And it started out with, I don't know, maybe a half a dozen, and now they're, they've crowded the pot mm -hmm. and they've started to climb over the right, edge. Right, right, yeah. It's, it's really so, neat. I like it. Yeah. So, and a lot of people, sometimes you put strawberries, they call it a strawberry, strawberry jar. jar. Yeah. Hens and chick jar. Yes. So you could do something like the hens and chicks around the side, and then maybe add something different on the top. Okay. Or you can just do all hens and chicks, sure. whatever you want. Why not? Why yeah. not? There's all and kinds I, of little. And I see that we have some special potting mix that we you do. Can use we do. If, if you do with the um, it's a sandier type soil. They've got a little bit of sand in it, so it doesn't okay. dry out. You definitely don't want to gotcha. use anything that's going to hold moisture. Oh. Because you want your your cactus and your succulents. Like today. anything else that you would use to plant flowers, yeah. you don't want to use. Them. You want them pretty dry. Okay. Um, before you do. Okay. So this is some delisperum, which is really pretty. It has a little flower on it, just like the. Um, Ice plant. Like, like the, the yeah. yellow or the orange. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are hundreds. I can't even show you all the varieties <laughs> of succulents that we have because there are so many. There's just oh, so that's many. A pretty I mean, one. there's colors that you just mix together. Right. I like the that mixture. Just, that's really yeah. nice. These look really. Check this one out with the purple spine oh on it my and down. Gosh. That is really pretty. Yeah. That is interesting. So. And I, I like these. They're really fat. Uh huh. They Very are. Fat. They're called jet beads. And they put off a, a lot of little babies, too. They're actually related to the um, hens and chicks. Oh, okay. So They put out babies and they just keep multiplying. They just keep multiplying. They get big and then they put off offshoots on the side. That is so, awesome. Yeah, I mean, we just have hundreds. Just, they're everywhere. Yeah, there are hundreds of them. Ah, uh, we have one that is Senate. This one over here. You want to smell that flower? Oh, the smell. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a nutmeg smell. Yeah. So we have that in single pots and straight up just flat baskets. Wow. Um, this, so one, this one has a mix in it though. People so think of, of hanging baskets like what we have in the big greenhouse mm -hmm. with all the beautiful petunias right, right. and everything. But you can have a hanging basket with succulents in it. You can it. have a hanging basket with succulents in and it, it and even fragrance. 
color, fragrance, yeah. That's awesome. So, okay. And we have a variety of those. They all have something, you know, a different mixture in them. Right. So, and even if they don't have a flower, this one does not flower, but. It has that, different color. That beautiful bright color. Right. And then you have your flower over yes. here. We have your so. spillers, right? Yeah, your spillers. <laughs> your spillers. Yeah. I guess this okay. one will be the thriller. Uh, <laughs> and if okay. you just notice the different textures yeah. in the leaves and Very the different cool. ones that you pick when you put that together, it just... And so there's different applications for all these succulents. You can mm -hmm. put them in a hanging basket, yeah. you can put them in a, in a cup, yeah. you can put them in a wagon. I have my heads and things. chicks planted in an old uh, chick feeder. So, oh, okay. Yeah. And you know, I think my friend has um, an old pair of shoes of oh, that's a good one. Vintage shoes, yeah, yeah. and she's got out there, yeah. and it's she's got she's got flowers. It's in great it. for the hens and so chicks or um, any of the sedums. Yeah. Okay. Well, around. there you go. Awesome. Thank you, Kathy. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a a great variety of all these succulents, and of course, lots of ideas on on how to use them and where to put them and what to do with them when you get them home. Yes, yeah, so just come in and ask and I'll help you put something together and uh, bring something from home or something that you find here. We have lots of different metal dishes and different things to, okay. to um, accent them. All right, yeah. awesome. So now we know all about succulents, how to use them and where to put them and thank you, Kathy. Yep. And if you come in to, to and you're not quite sure what you wanna do, just ask Kathy, she'll help yep. you out. I'm always here. There you go, thanks Kathy. Uh -huh. So I want to thank Kathy for all the great information that she gave us about succulents, and now you know more. I want to tell you some more about what we have here at Willie Farms. Of course, I'm here under the pergola with all of the wonderful uh, perennials that we have out here, beautiful flowers. Stop by, stroll around, pick out what you like. But I want to remind you that something new that we have is we are now a propane gas tank exchange location right here. So you come to the nursery area, talk with Donna or Cody or any of the other folks that we have here and uh, bring your tank in. You can exchange it for a full one and you can go home and grill to your heart's content. And speaking of grilling, that's what we're going to do next. Let's go grill some fruit. It is grilling season coming up and of course I know you're going to be in your backyard all season long grilling up a storm. But what will you be grilling? Well, we've got everything that you need here at Willie Farms. All the protein, all the meats that you need. We've got, of course, ground beef. We've got uh, the hot dogs. We've got chicken. Anything that you'd like to put on the grill, we've got that for you. We've got the side salads, too. Uh, drinks to wash it all down with. And, uh, but have you considered of grilling with fruit? And grilling fruit to go with your hamburger? Well, we're gonna talk about that today. We've got the fire going. We didn't want to waste a perfectly good fire, so we've got some hot dogs on the grill too. Oh, they're coming up really nice. And I know that as soon as they get done, they will disappear because food always does here at Willie Farms. So there we go, let's get those turned over. We've had our hamburgers started, so we're keeping them warm. But now we want to talk about the fruits that you can grill. And there's a lot of different fruits, maybe some that you hadn't thought about uh, and some that you have and you may have tried some already. But let's take a look at these fruits that you can grill. You've got peaches, grilled peaches. And these are, you can cut them in half or you can slice them and have little slices. We have peaches, there's bananas. Now I haven't tried bananas yet, we're gonna try that today. We've got avocado, mangoes, some plums. So there's a lot of different things that you can choose and of course, pineapple. A lot of people, if they've had a grilled fruit, it's a pineapple. So we're gonna do what we call a tropical hamburger, and then we're gonna do a California hamburger. And that's gonna have the grilled avocado on it. So we're gonna give that a try too. So let's see how we're gonna prepare our fruits before we put them on the grill. Now with the pineapple, let's get that one going again. Now we've already shown you how to cut your fresh pineapple, so I don't need to show you that again. You do that, then you cut it in nice, nice thick slices. And of course you wanna take the core out because you're gonna put this right on your hamburger and you don't want that core in there. So just go around with your knife and cut that core out. Now I will tell you that I tried to cut these slices in half so that they would be a little thinner, but they just broke all up. It just, it didn't work as, as well. So, so we'll just go with the thick slices 
and we like pineapple anyway, so we'll go with the thick, thick slices. All right, now you don't want to put this right on the grill because it could stick. Now you could put some, uh, some spray oil on your grill grate, but what you really want to do with any of these fruits, it will work with all of the fruits, is you want to get three tablespoons of butter, melt that, then you want a tablespoon of honey and a tablespoon of lemon and stir that all together. And that's what we have right here. And you wanna baste your fruit with that. So we'll take our fruit and we'll put that on here. And then we'll put it over here on the grill with that face down. And then we'll take some more of this baste and put it on top. So that in a couple minutes when we turn that over and we get those really nice grill marks on there, we'll have the baste on the other side as well. So we'll let that cook for a little bit longer. Oh, you know what? I need to move my hot dogs. Because not everybody likes burnt hot dogs. So we'll move them over here. There we go. Okay, so we've got the hot dogs off to the side. Now we've got our pineapple ready to go over there. So let's see what we can do with this plum. Have you ever done a plum before? Let's give it a try. Again, you just cut it in half and of course it's got the pit in there now this one came out without the pit so this is what we'll use this time and again you can slice it we'll do that with the other one or you can just do a half and you put you you baste it put it on there nice and liberal and then just put that right face down right there on the grill and get that heated up now this one we'll see if we can get that that pit out and then maybe we'll slice it up and see how that works. Get the pit out. And then we'll make, again, probably good to do a nice thick slice, otherwise it'll just fall apart. So we've got a nice thick slice here. We'll put our butter and honey and lemon, put that right down there. There we go put that over there and what the heck we'll put this one on there too we'll just have all kinds of fruit so there we go got a nice hot fire that's going let's check our pineapple slice to see how well that's going see if it has any grill marks on it yet fire is certainly hot enough what do we got nope nope well little bit let's put it over here where it's really really hot now you can see the one that we did a little earlier. The one that we did a little earlier has those nice grill marks on it. So we've got that going. We've got that going. Now let's talk about some of the other things that you can do. Now you can do uh, the peaches, you can do them on the grill and you could also grill them and then take them out put a little bit of frozen blueberries in the middle, drizzle it with honey or drizzle it with some maple syrup too. People have been telling me all the things that they do and that's one of the things that they do is put some maple syrup over the peaches, really, really good. Of course, we have the honey, we've got the maple syrup here, the pineapple, all the fruits and vegetables. And I wanted to let you know that on the, uh, the hamburgers that, we, that I did, the only seasoning I put is this seasoning here. Is this seasoning here? It's called Cavender's seasoning. <laughs> it is an all-purpose Greek seasoning. It's a seasoned blend. And no, my family does not own it, so I have no, <laughs> I have no stake in this. But it is very good. And uh, you just sprinkle it on the hamburger when you're mixing it together, and uh, has a really, really nice taste. All right, we talked about doing an avocado, so let's uh, let's give that a try. Once again, you have to cut it in half. There we go. And we've got the, uh, oh, this one's nice and, nice and, uh, nice and ripe. So let's uh, see if we can cut this. I know how to get it, there we go, there we go. That works. So do it this way get that cut there's that nice slice we'll take the uh, see if we can get that skin off without 
ruining the slice. There we go. Comes right off. Look at that. There. All right, once again, you want to put a little bit of this on it, give it some flavor, and so it won't stick to the grill. And let's put it right down, put it right down there, because we want to use that for one of our burgers, for our California burger. Put some more of that on there. Okay, all right. So we've got pineapple, we've got avocado, we've got bananas, peaches, and plums. So you can choose your favorite and decide which one you'd like to put on the grill and give it a try. And as always, you can tweak your recipe to whatever you want. What I did last night when I gave it a try with the pineapple is I keep uh, cinnamon and sugar. You put it on toast, but it's really good on top of the grilled pineapple as well. And really good on the peaches too. So you could do it for a dessert. You don't have to put it on a burger or anything. Just do it for dessert. Put it in the bowl, maybe a scoop of vanilla ice cream. That would be good. Sprinkle on some cinnamon sugar, drizzle some, drizzle some uh, honey or maple syrup on there. It's whatever you like. If you're not a fan of maple syrup, go with the honey or vice versa. So check it out, try it yourself, and you'll find probably a new favorite. Okay, let's see how our avocado is doing. See if I can get it without tearing it apart. Oh, goodness. Let's see. Oh, look at that. We've got our plum. Our plum is looking really nice. So good I can't get it picked up. Here we go. Here we go. We've got our plum. That's looking good. Oh, the plum is really working really nicely. Let's turn this one over. It's got good grill marks on it. Let's see how our pineapple is doing. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. Awesome. So that's going to be almost ready. Almost ready. We'll put that on our burger. Let's get our burger started here because our burgers have been on the grill. So I think they're ready. We might even have a taste tester here because, you know, at Willie Farms, whenever you cook food, they come from all over the place and they eat it all up, but that's okay. We like it that way. All right, we've got a couple burgers here. Now, like I said, we're going to do um, a California burger. We're gonna put that uh, avocado on there. And then the tropical burger, we're gonna put that slice of pineapple on there as well. So let's get our burgers. We got one burger there, one burger, oops, there we go. Put it on the bottom. All right, let's, yeah, it's got some good grill marks. <laughs> the pineapple is bigger than the burger, but that's okay. That's all right, there we go. Let's get this, oh, look at that, nice. Got grill marks on the avocado. That's coming out really, really nicely. So we'll put that on there for another few seconds. And then I wanted to let you know that with the, um, with the tropical burger, not only do you have the pineapple, but we decided to come with this mango salsa. Now this in particular is mango lime salsa. So we'll put that, the mango and the pineapple. We're gonna put that right in the middle. Put a little bit, oh, see those big chunks of mango. And again, we've got mango here too. So you could grill that if you're a, if you're a, a big mango fan. So we've got that. This, of course, is from Stonewall Kitchen. We have this here at the market. And also, uh, you could put a glaze. I'm really a big fan of the balsamic glaze. It's a reduction of the balsamic vinegar. Put it on a little heat and it reduces down. It gets thicker. It's really, really good. So you can drizzle that on the, on the fruits as well. All right, so we've got our tropical burger ready to go. And it looks like our avocado is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. We put the avocado right on there. We've got our plum, our other slice of plum. Put that over there. And we've got our other piece of grilled 
and our hot dogs. We still have our hot dogs going here. So I guess I know what I'm going to have for lunch. Okay. All right. So I wanted to remind you that you can take um, a peach and uh, do it in the oven or you can do it on the grill, but we really like the grilled effect. And just be careful and make sure that you uh, put the, uh, the sauce on there so that it doesn't stick to the grill. So whatever your favorite is, we're gonna put this slice of pineapple on just for good measure. Mainly because we don't wanna waste good pineapple. There we go. Again with the basting. Put that on there. Boy, that's a big thick slice. That on there, and flavor. There we go. Okay. Well, now it's time to taste test. We've got taste tester, and I guess that taste tester would be me. So let's cut this one in half. Now remember, this is the burger, ground beef from here at Willie Farms, Herring Run Farms, is the where we got the beef from. There you go, look at that. Nice burger. You got the pineapple ring around here and the mango salsa in the middle. All right, here I go again on TV eating. Let's give it a try. Oh, wow. Oh. And a little bit of a kick with that salsa too. Oh my goodness, that's very good. All right, well, we might as well try the avocado. There we go, cut that one in half. Now this one is just strictly the burger and the avocado, but you can add whatever else you'd like on there. It does have that California feel with the avocado. So there you go. And you also have, here, let me pull this around here. And as I mentioned earlier, the cinnamon and sugar, you put that on there while it's still warm, kind of melts and soaks right in there. There's your dessert right there. I don't have to put it on a hamburger. There's your dessert. You've got plums or peaches or pineapple. So there you go. Try it yourself. Let's turn over our grill of, uh, turn over our pineapple. We got a few grill marks on there, but we'll let that keep going and we'll move on. But I hope that you've learned something about grilling and fruit and maybe you'll give it a try and you'll find a new favorite dessert or maybe a new favorite hamburger. Well, here I am amongst the pots. There are pots, pots, and more pots right here at Willie Farms in all the beautiful colors. You can just pick your favorite. They're gorgeous. And of course, lots of beautiful plants to go in those pots. We hope you'll stop by. Thank you so much for watching today. Hope you learned some things about the succulents and, and I hope you try grilling some fruit next time you have an outdoor get together. You'll probably impress your friends if you try it out. So we hope that you'll do that. Check out our website at willyfarms.com. We're on all the social media, the Facebook, the Twitter, the Instagram. We try to keep you up to date with as much as we possibly can. So check that out. We're right here on Route 13. We're easy to find just south of Odessa, just north of Smyrna and easy access on and off from Route 1 as well. That's going to do it for this time. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.